Hey guys, Ben here. So today we're going to look at some bodyweight exercises and linking in with this week's lecture. But considering the amount of bodyweight exercises there actually is, we're just going to focus on one today and that's the press up. Okay, we're going to go through the detail, the technique, the common faults, and some variations that we can actually use to enhance our bodyweight training. Okay, so first, um, press up. We're all probably pretty familiar with a press up, but main muscles that actually works are the pecs, triceps, and abdominals used to stabilize the body position when we're actually doing the press up. So if done correctly, it's a very, very um, complex movement. Actually, a lot of people see it as a beginner movement, but when you think about it, you're pressing 75% of your body weight. If you ask someone to jump on a bench press and bench press 75% of their body weight, you probably won't be able to do it. So a press up is actually quite a complex movement. It's not necessarily a beginner movement. So doing it properly is key, and understanding the key technique points is what we need to look at today. So we have Rob here, and um, Rob's gonna be my guinea pig today. So he's gonna go through um, some of the main technique points. We're gonna show some of the common faults as we go through and make sure that we know how to address them and know how to fix them when we're actually looking at them. Okay, so if Rob just wanna get down on knees and I'll go through everything where we are. Okay, so first main technique point is one of the hands about shoulder width apart and fingers pointing straight ahead and forwards. Okay, so pretty much right about there for Rob is absolutely fine. Okay, then we want to get, kick our feet back and get up on our toes, Rob, into the press-up position. Okay, so Rob has a pretty good press-up position. Nice static hold. Okay, so we want the head in neutral, pretty much looking straight down you as you are, Rob. Okay, and we want to see basically a straight line coming from the head, through the shoulders, through the hips, through the knees, down to the ankles. That's what we're looking for for a good position. Also, we want to see a nice, normal spine. Okay. So we're just gonna have a quick look at some of the common faults that we we'll see um, when people actually try to do a push-up, okay? Well, the first one we see is actually the arms and the body in a T position, which we'll show from above in the video. Um, Rob's hands are nice and wide here, so when you actually look at them from above, it looks more like a T, okay? This is putting a lot of stress on the shoulder joints as the um, leverage is increased at the shoulder joint. So it's putting a lot of strain through the shoulder joints. So when Rob actually goes down into a press-up, it's actually quite difficult to do. Um, but a lot of people revert to this because they think it feels comfortable because they're getting a little bit of support from the actual passive structures at the shoulder joint at the end of the range of motion. So rather than the muscles being active and actually producing the force to push you back up, you're getting a little bit of support of the actual structure of the joint which is making it a little bit easier to actually bounce back up out of that pressure position. Okay, what we actually want to see is pretty much an arrow position when we're doing the press up. Okay, so Rob, you just do your normal press up there. So if we look at Rob from above now, just crack on with the press of the rope, we can see that his body and his elbows coming out at about 45 degrees make a nice arrow position, okay, which is primarily what we want to see. This will give us the most recruitment of the pecs, it will give us the most recruitment of the tricep muscles. Okay, fine rope. The other position is the eye position. Okay, and the eye position is an extremely narrow position, so if you want to get down into that, Keep your elbows tucked in right the side, so it looks pretty much like an eye. So if you can give that a go with the press-up. Now this will pretty much stress the triceps very, very well. And a lot of people use it to enhance the activation of the triceps because it is primarily targeting those. But again, it may not be optimal for um, shoulder joint health and things like that. So we kind of ideally want about the arrow position when we're doing the press-up. Okay, so that was basically the body weight press-up. Okay, so we've gone through technique, gone through common faults, and we've gone through some variations, okay? And that rounds off this week's lecture. Thanks for your attention.